Hello and welcome to another short tutorial about a blazer. How do I look? Yeah, rough night as always. Now this time you can already see it on the screen. I want to show you an example for rendering lots of data in a table. Here you can see the example application where we can see some weather forecasts. And when we go to Visual Studio, there it is already. Again, it's the example application ASP.NET Core hosted. Blazor app, so we got the server project and with this server project we are calling the weather forecast controller, the get method, where we get five weather forecasts. Back to Chrome, we can see that this runs rather quickly, but what about calling, for instance, or providing 5,000 weather forecasts? We refresh the application or restart it again and you see it takes lots of time already and we will reload the page in a second while running the performance thingy here so let's just start profiling and reload the page and as you can see now it takes a while again it is profiling the page we now see the actual data in the table and uh, here you can see this is the important part. Scripting takes more than five seconds to just display these 5,000 weather forecasts. And another interesting thing here is if we inspect this table and open the body of the table, you see loads and loads of table rows. And uh, eventually down here it says, yeah, there are more nodes and uh, we could uh, show all the uh, 5,000 nodes or 4,500 more. Anyways, um, you see there's lots of stuff that has to be in, that has to be rendered. And well, there's another cool thing to do this. And this is actually the virtualized component. So let's go back to Visual Studio. We still generate 5,000 weather forecasts, but now in the fetch data page here, instead of the for each, we can actually use the virtualized component. So let's just remove this here. Or let me just copy this. Maybe that's easier. So I copy this and comment this out paste it down here and then what we can do is simply use virtualize like that and let me just move the closing tag here and virtualize now works similar to the for each actually uh, it takes some parameters though and the first one are the items and this is our forecasts array again similar to the for each and then we need a context and this is our single entry then uh, of this array and in our case it's forecasts. And that's everything you have to do. There's more to this component but let's keep this tutorial short, at least it's the Blazor Shorts category. Uh, so I saved this and I think it has, oh no, now it's reloading. You see that rendering takes much less time, but let's do it with the performance with the profiler again. So we reload the page. Profiling is running. Data is already here. And in a second, you can see scripting now, instead of over five seconds, it only took us almost two seconds. You can do this again. And then I think we can get to one and a half seconds, but you already see the difference and the other yeah, one eight. Okay. Anyways, the other important or interesting thing is that when we now have a look at the T body, you actually see it's much less that is displayed here. And we see these diffs, the upper diff and the lower diff. And when I now scroll down, you see that the height is changing. So we really just see uh, these table rows that are displayed on the screen. And when I scroll, uh, we see other table rows that have to be or that will be displayed on our page. You can see here that the first one is changing. Yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you guys in this short Blazor tutorial. Pretty cool stuff. So if you want to handle loads of data, then uh, maybe instead of a for each, you want to use the virtualized component that is uh, new to .NET 5 actually. But well, .NET 5 is out for a couple of months now. So maybe you haven't seen it already. Now you know. 
wish you good luck with that. Apart from that, if you learned something, thank you very much for clicking the like button and maybe subscribing to my channel. Again, thank you so much to all my subscribers who bought me a coffee. Really need that. Maybe you want to buy me a coffee too sometime or maybe you want to subscribe to my newsletter to get the latest information about new tutorials and new courses I make. Maybe uh, get early access and discounts to my online courses such as you can see it in the back the Blazor WebAssembly full stack bootcamp. There's a two hour preview available here on YouTube. Maybe you want to check out the info card or check out the video description below to see and enroll maybe for the complete course. We're building a classic online browser game there with, with lots and lots of features regarding Blazor WebAssembly. Okay, that's it. I will stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching and I see you next time. Take care.